Hello, Capricorn friends and family. Welcome back. Welcome if y'all are new here. It is your girl, Jazzy J. And this is Earth Vibes Tarot. We are a Capricorn only channel, but of course you are all welcome to the messages, whether you're a Capricorn or you guys are cross watching. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Just sit back, relax, take a chance, smash your like button, leave a comment down below. Just don't forget to make sure that you are subscribed here to the channel for more content and for more of me. We are gonna go ahead and get right into the energy, Capricorn. This is gonna be your weekly message message for December the 17th until December the 23rd or whenever you guys happen to find this message or find it insightful. So we're going to start in our spiritual energy and we're going to take a look here and it says Uranus. So the urge for originality and independence from the old tradition chains disruption and revolution. And that's exactly what I feel the energy is like right now, Capricorn, with the collective. I feel like we are dealing with a shift, um, an evolutionary shift, an evolutionary change um, in the collective and of people. And this is really coming from the mind, body, and the soul, right? There are 180s that are happening, awakenings that are happening. Um, and this is, this is across the board. And this is coming from a place of change that has stemmed from a place of disruption the tower uh, that we have been going through, right? And we've been speaking on that, Capricorn, in our collective readings for some time. So it's important for us to understand that there is this freedom that's finally coming in and there is this ability to show and have this unconditional love um, the way it is meant, right? Because you were doing it how you feel and how you feel guided and how you, how you feel led Capricorn. So let's go ahead and see. Tell us about Uranus. The hermit, the hermit Virgo energy. There's been a lot of introspection, a lot of insight. Yeah. Eight of cups. This has been, this has not been some fly by night decision. I've been thinking very deeply about this, very heavily about this. And this is not something that I just made an abrupt decision on this is something that I've been doing a lot of a lot of deep thought have been going through this sense of spiritual enlightenment, awakening, you know, really finding myself taking these lessons and turning them into um, abundance, right through ending these cycles. That's exactly what this is. And we're seeing this revolution that's happening in your own life as well as collectively, because we see collectively, a lot of us are Ada Cupsing, right? A lot of us are Ada Cupsing situations. This could even be emotions, people, mindsets, jobs, right? In order for us to fulfill other contracts that that we're ready for right but we have to be able to let go of what is no longer serving here's the seven of cups energy coming through scorpionic energy piscean energy virgo energy there's been a lot of energy that's been clouding your choices or decisions here for some of you Capricorn some of you have really been having a hard time making a choice or decision because you have options um, or you have just multiple things that are going on in your life in which you're having to make a decision on and right whether this be your own personal endeavors whether this be you know things that you've put aside you know in the back of your closet that are now coming back to the surface you know whether this is frenemies family whether this is your finances job it's like there's so many things that you're going through and changing that you're experiencing um, that some of you are having to make multiple decisions here right multiple decisions and that's okay we've got this six of cups energy coming out so again more scorpionic energy lots of water energy here this is definitely some form of um emotion for some of you this could have to deal with love with the six of cups coming out capricorn i'm gonna be honest this is about the past this is about nostalgia this is about something that feels good and even though something could feel good for you does not necessarily mean it is something you need to be continuously engaging in does not necessarily mean it's something that you need to be doing because the six of cups seven of cups leads us to the ace the eight and the seven leads us to the ace the seven um or the eight and the six leads us to the two so we're seeing that there's love here 
right? And this is a part of why it can be difficult and hard to really see the truth amongst the clouds about the situation because of the love, the emotion, the affection, the the connectedness, the sense of harmony and balance and partnership that was once there. It can be very hard. It can be very, very hard, right? And we have the Five of Swords, Queen of Cups, Page of Swords coming out at the bottom of the deck. And I really do feel like this could be negative self-talk that can kind of um, get in your head. And this can be somebody else that tries to get in your head, really pushing you away from what, what you feel from your heart and from your soul because it brings up that feeling of nostalgia, which is not a bad thing. It just do doesn't mean that we have to continuously engage in it because we are seeing that that is time for us to change, evolve, and be free from those restrictions. You've done the work. You've done what needs to be done here, Capricorn. So now is the time to really evolve and move on, move past, and, you know, appreciate what you've been through. But let's let's not go back to that, right? Let's not... Let's let whoa, let's not do that, right? Somebody it's like, I just want to be appreciated. I just want to be appreciated. You've got this energy of community. We're not gonna keep it. I do feel, Capricorn, there are people that are surrounding you that can really be affecting what you're dealing with, what you're going through. Um, you know, it 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 people are gonna be people and especially with uh the holiday season, um people like to imprint, so Show us what we need to see here, please, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Thank you. Yeah, look, walking away. After all of that, this is about physical energy of walking away after all of that. And this is why it is so important because you have these external hostilities, Capricorn, that are going to try to come into your life and dog you down and make you feel like you ain't shit they gonna make you feel like you shouldn't be making no decision you shouldn't be making no choices they are just going to try to tear your soul apart and it's important that you you walk away and leave those things behind capricorn this is a situation that is a lesson and it is time for you to move forward this is a person. This is an energy The you're you're walking out the gate, closing the gate, locking the key. You have done what needs to be done. 26, 27. This is a progression energy. And 27 breaks down to a nine. OK, and we have the hermit here. Number nine, nine is about that push to the next level after ending a cycle. Right. By utilizing our um, utilizing our mental, emotional, and physical state of mind to, to clear this path, to clear the way. Capricorn, you are absolutely ready for this. And what I'm going to tell you, again, this is not a decision that you've made lightly. This is not a decision that you have. This is like, I just made this decision yesterday. You've been doing a lot of processing on this and you really got to give yourself, you know, a pat on the back for that. You have the hangman coming out here, Piscean energy. You've been in your mind, in your head, a lot about what this is. You know, it's really time for you to surrender and let go of the situation. And a lot of you know what this is because you've gained a new perspective on this. Yeah, two of wands. You've gained a new perspective on this and you really do know where you're going. You really do know where you're headed out onto a new adventure, out onto something that is um, going to be fun and prosperous and in harmony with and you know, harmony and alignment with where you're trying to go, where you're trying to head your life here. You have the nine of pentacles. You know, you are a solid, stable individual, Capricorn. You are supported. You have everything that you need. Everything. Now is your time to allow yourself to take on this next step, take on this next phase of your life. Um, you've gained the clarity. Sometimes it could just be hard to actually make the decision. And the decision that is hard is because of the Six of Cups, is because of the nostalgia, is because of the love, it's because of what was there. That's why. You know exactly where you're headed. You know where you're going. You have a clear cut direction on this Capricorn. This is not something that you are, you know, questioning or skeptical about. Yeah, this is something that you've manifested quite literally right into existence. Capricorn, I'm not even going to front. I'm not even going to lie. This is something that you have manifested right into existence. This is something that is one of a dream, you know, 
fate, destiny, look at this. You have the freaking two of cups, the ace of cups, and the moon. Didn't we talk about these two cards earlier? The ace and the two? Yeah. This is a really deep emotional <sighs> loving energy and I feel like this is what you're walking into but this is also what you're walking away from and this is why it's so difficult right so we we go through these these phases in our lives here where we have to walk away from and come into certain things but sometimes it's hard to fully release away from that why because we're still our hearts are still there even though our soul knows it's it's no longer for us Gravity is working against me. And gravity mm -mm, wants to bring me down. Express your love, flirt, new love, bro. Y'all are getting ready to step into something powerful. You just have to let yourself do it. You feel it. You know it. It's it's. There's nothing more for you to understand or ask for, Capricorn. This love in which you guys are stepping into is quite emotional. You have the King of Cups coming out here. So you have somebody who is, who's been thinking about you and thinking about this for a very, very, very long time right? They've been doing a lot of processing. They've been doing their own surrendering, their own emotional let go, their own um, alignment of soul, right? They've been doing a lot. This is King of Cups energy, right? This person is very mature. This person is solid. They know exactly what they want, whom they want, and where they're trying to go with it. Yeah, look at this. The freaking lovers. The freaking lovers, Capricorn. The freaking lovers, with the knight of pentacles yeah this is this is something this person wanted to make sure that they were were about they wanted to make sure they wanted to make sure that this is the relationship this is the connection this is the the place the thing the whatever look at this you have the freaking empress and the ten of wands I feel like somebody is willing to, willing and ready to give it all to you or vice versa. Um, I feel like this person is ready to come towards you in love. I feel like there is somebody here that is ready to make their move, make their mark. This is a very fantastical, um, dreamy type of energy, meaning this person dreams of you. You were the one that they have, you know, dreamed of in their life. Um, the two of you together are really solid and stable and you've worked through a lot of different things here and I feel like you know together this person sees you or you see them as love right and and willing to give it all up for love willing to drop all of the burdens for love willing to surrender it all for love in order to create something new because it's known that this is what has been manifested. It's known that this is what's been wanted. And the Empress, the Page of Cups, and the Six of Cups, I'm going to be honest, there is a very, very big chance for love, marriage, and procreation um, between you and another person, Capricorn. And whether that procreation is through a child or through some sort of a business endeavor um, or otherwise, that's what this feels like. And it's like the time is now you guys are both heading towards each other, like heading out the door and making the choice to really come together. This is beautiful. Bottom of the deck is the page of wands, the three of swords and the seven of wands. Yeah, it's inevitable. It's going to be sad either way because you know there's going to be something you have to let go of. For some of you, this is quite literally letting go of your singlehood, letting go of that single freedom, letting go of that energy because you know that your life is going to change because of what's getting ready to come in and that's sad like it can be hard to really let go of something that you've known for so long same thing with um 
having a child like that process is is very taxing on a lot of people right going from being married um to getting a divorce going from being just together to getting married going from living on your own to now living with another person people again don't realize how hard those things can be and people who have multiple options with people or with things it's like when I have to let go of like a certain person or somebody that I love somebody that I care about you know in order to have this relationship it's a loss you know from that person and it can be very hard which is why people hold on to people that they know they shouldn't be holding on to because they don't don't want to go through that mourning process that three of swords five of cups so they do the seven of wands thing and it blocks them from truly feeling and seeing what needs to happen but this is what's being seen this is what's being felt and this is what's being done between two people um and then of course yourself and you're attracting somebody that is very much in alignment uh with you with this capricorn okay so let's get a couple of closing messages of advice. Closing messages, please, here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And of course, any cross watchers that are here. Closing messages for Capricorn. Lion spirit, be generous of spirit. White Raven Spirit, trust the magic, number 66. Lion Spirit was 37. And then number 56, Spider Spirit, make your dreams real. Ooh. Capricorn, this is the message that Spirit has for you. And this is where I'm going to leave it. I hope you guys found it insightful and that it resonated. If it did, you guys know what to do. Smash your like buttons. Leave a comment down below if you would like to do so. And of course, I'll speak to you all in the next reading.